So the Gentleman's Association was birthed from the idea that it is okay to not fall into that stereotypical view of what it means to be a Jamaican man and to stand for something higher than just trash. Preach. Oh. Hi everyone, Nia here. Hello everyone, it's Kalia. And this is the second episode showcasing our new segment which highlights an initiative. Today we have with us a special guest and his name is Patrick Watson. He is the founder of the Gentleman's Association of Jamaica. So hi Patrick, how are you? Hi ladies, how are you doing? I am well, thank you. Thank you for having me. No problem. Thank you for taking the time out to join us today. So Patrick, I, I know you have talked before multiple times <laughs> and um, I remember the first mm -hmm, time mm -hmm. meeting you when we were recording something for you, the YouTube channel. And I did not know that yes. a gentleman's club existed. So please tell our viewers more about yeah. this gentleman's club. We are a male mentorship and volunteer organization. We focus our initiatives on trying to instill gentleman-like characteristics, qualities, values in young men. We have our target group or our focus group of ages 12, to 25 however based on certain expectations and initiatives that will be coming up we are looking to expand that age range to about ages 9 to 27 so the focus for us is trying to instill gentleman -like characteristics and qualities in the jamaican populace as we have said um, so one of the things that we try to do is we try to understand what it means to be a gentleman in today's society and how best to exemplify those characteristics and those traits and those qualities and we use various methods and techniques to try and instill these in young men in our participants in our programs um, to our viewers um, and in whatever way that we can try to make an impact we try to do so um, and I, I want to automatically start out by dispelling the rumor that just because we are called the Gentleman's Club, that it's a, it's a boys only thing. Um, there is a strong belief within the entire executive and myself that you cannot truly be a gentleman without some amount of feminine influence in your life. Because one of the key characteristics of being a gentleman is emotional intelligence and awareness. Yes. So because of that, we believe that women are vital in all that we do and everything that we do and we want to treat them as equals and respect them as we best as best as we can and keep them involved in all that we do that's so lovely patrick what inspired you to start this club ah uh, what inspired me to start the gentleman's association it was it was a myriad of things um firstly i, I went through my own little personal I want to call it a little personal struggle um, between the time when I was transitioning between universities, between coming back from overseas, um, from Florida, from Florida, to coming back to um, start school in university. Um, I was realizing some of the cultural differences that exist um, overseas and, and um, locally, as well as um, about four to five years ago, a lot of people don't know um, and you might have to forgive my, my language for, for a brief moment. There was this, this stint in American, um, American media um, followed up by songs and popular artists that says niggas ain't shit. Mm -hmm. And from, from that debacle, um, it kind of trickled down, it kind of watered down, it, it mutated into men are trash. And that became a long-standing tagline for how people viewed Jamaican men and Caribbean men by extension and even just being a male automatically constituted that you were trash. So this sparked a lot of de debates for me and a lot of my friends and we, we tried to understand why the, the terminology was being thrown about and understand why it's being said and what we have done to contribute to the, to the statement being being um, perpetuated and then we realizing all of the factors in play it, it, it dawned on me especially um, I have a I have a nephew and I think this was the 
the, the, the turning point for me when I realized I had to make a stand. I have a nephew. And one day, just out of the blue, I was talking to him and I asked him what he wants to be when he grow up. Then you know, I have to talk to a, a young family and kind of nurture them. I really didn't have much interaction with him. So when I got the chance, I tried to. And he said, he wants to be a gunman. No, I kind of laughed at first. And so, but then there was this look in his eyes that told me that he was serious. Like that is what he wants to be. Because he said, and, and he, it was, it was, it was baffling for me, you know, because he said he has only three choices. Is either in Meg on the roadside, mm -hmm. in go university, and him say, and I ever get that you'd really make it go university, or him try to take it from somebody else who have it already. And because that was his mindset, mm -hmm. the, his mindset was such that that, is, that was his reality. Yeah. And that is probably the reality for a lot of Jamaican and a lot of persons that we interact with on a daily basis. They don't see other options outside of either turning to something illegal uh, because the, the legitimate methods don't work for them. It's not focused on what they can do or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So to hear somebody that I was so in tune with kind of mm -hmm. say that, uh, it, was, it was a shocker to me. So at that point, mm -hmm. I said, all right, I'm going to have to take a stand now and I will be the, the example for him. Yeah, yeah. So I said, I, I tried to say to him, all right, I'm, I'm going to show you how to do some other things. And I started talking to him a little bit more, teaching him a little bit more things. And I realized, this is something that we need to do for our young men because it's not just mm -hmm. my little nephew and my little family. There are so many young men in Jamaica growing up without male role models, proper male role models, mm -hmm. right? There are so many single mothers that are struggling. There are so many different persons from different backgrounds, all walks of life, that don't think that there is another way to behave other than the stereotypical um, Jamaican mindset of, of how a man should be. So the Gentleman's Association was birthed from the idea that it is okay to not fall into that stereotypical view of what it means to be a Jamaican man and to stand for something higher than just trash. Preach. Wow. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Mm -hmm. So Patrick, can you... Take mm -hmm. a few of the things that your organization um, does to help these young men. All right, so we have a mentorship program in which we target mm -hmm. young men, um, different young men from all walks of life. Um, we partnered recently with the Divine Beacon of Change and the Heart Trust Foundation to undergo mentorship training for our executive members and a few of our um, a few of our ambassadors. Uh, which we will be continuing to do, sorry, over the course of the summer and into the um, winter months, so that come January we can restart our annual mentorship program. We're looking to take in about 100 young men, all walks of life, different backgrounds, mm -hmm. and enroll them in this mentorship program, a year-long mentorship program, and we will see how best we can instill certain characteristics in them at certain levels, we're going to try and see how we can best try to get them enrolled in a skill or teach them a skill. Um, we're also going to see how best we can assist with education if they're in school, anything like that. So that is our mentorship program. We have something that we call the Young Gents Initiative. Um, in this, we go and set up clubs um, in, other, in high schools. Uh, one thing I did fail to mention, I was actually part of a, a club that started at Arden High School called the Gentleman's Club. And that was also another catharsis of, of um, development for me that mm -hmm. helped spring the idea of having the Gentleman's Association of Jamaica. Currently, the Gentleman, Gentleman's Club, GTM, only exists at Arden High School. But we are in talks with other high schools, um, traditional and non-traditional, to set up a club at their high school so that we can oversee some direct mentorship of these high school young men um, so that we can kind of assist them with schoolwork again, um, just kind of impart lessons, impart wisdom, give them a free space to discuss and talk because there is a, is a common misconception and notion that men shouldn't talk about their feelings and should not have emotions and all of these things. So one of the things that we try to demolish is that idea that men are supposed to be macho 
And the meaning of macho is that you stand up strong and you don't show any emotion. And if you have an emotion, it's either you're happy or you're angry. So we try to dispel that rumor as well. So that is one of the things that we're doing as well. So it's a mentorship program, the Young Gems Initiative. As I say, we do a lot of volunteer work. We try to go to children's homes, boys' homes, um, yeah. donate what we can, do a little bit of homeless feedings as well. Um, we try to do community, community projects, um, beautification projects. Um, we do labor day projects, beach cleanups, stuff like that. Um, we have a running monthly um, Instagram series where we discuss um, topics. Um, it's really, really any topic that comes up in the in the modern society that is relevant to gentlemen. Um, we do segments on dating, love languages, um, do's and don'ts of a relationship, courting, what is the method of courting that you should do, is courting still relevant, dating, stuff like that. Um, so there's a, there's a running monthly, um, I want to call it a series on Instagram that we do as well to kind of share our message and spread our message. Um, we try to reach out to different organizations that will be doing different initiatives that focus on young men. Um, recently, we did one with the, the other half, JA, which focused on the issue of toxic masculinity and how it has impacted the Jamaican society and how men and women have contributed to toxic masculinity and what we can do to end that cycle. So these are just a few of the things that we have done previously and that we continue to do. Um, for the upcoming year, we're planning to do a lot more. We're trying to get even more involved. We're trying to expand our, um, our reach and the amount of initiatives that we do for the year so that we can reach more persons because we have a we have a group of ambassadors that we work with as well that serve as both volunteers and mentors. And we try to have bi-weekly meetings with these ambassadors. And one of the criticisms that came up, a very valid criticism, is that sometimes we are caught preaching to the choir. So that the persons that we are speaking to now are those mm -hmm. persons that are either like-minded or of a similar mindset to us. So we are trying to expand or reach those persons that really share those different views that don't share or opinions on how men should be, how they should behave, act, believe, all those stuff. So in an attempt to do that, we're trying to expand our, our reach and some of the initiatives that we do. So that's a brief synopsis of what we do and some of the things that are to come. Okay, so I realize that you, you said that um, that a gentleman's club is not only for gentlemen alone, right? So women can yeah. join as well? Definitely, women can join. Um, we we take on women as um, members, whether be whether it be as ambassadors or even executive members, because as yeah. I said, we don't want to neglect the, the feminine influence in yeah. anything that we do. Because even even as a as a strong man, you you will need a strong woman in your life. That is that is just how it goes, and that's just how it works. So, women can join up. We have no issue with that at all. As I said, it's just that we are trying to focus changing how young men are because there, there is a internal belief that if you can change the mind of a man, mm -hmm. you can change how he acts, how he believes, how he sees himself. If you can change how he does all of that, you can change how he perceives women. Right? So he moves from seeing them as objects to seeing them as creatures of love and equality. And if you can change how you treat a woman, you can then change how you look at relationships and the family structure. So if you change the family structure now, you go and you move away from all of these single parent households, mm -hmm. you move away from the baby mother, yes, so one mate around this or all of them things. Mm -hmm. So you develop strong family bonds and family ties. Right? And then if you can change how the family structure works in Jamaica, yes. you can you can take away some things like child abuse, child neglect. You can even tackle some issues of poverty. You can tackle some issues of better education, higher education, better standard of life. So mm -hmm. what we're really trying to do is, a, is something of a snowball effect. Right? So we believe that the linchpin in all of what we're going to do is how men think and act. If we can change how men think and act, we're on the right path for the country. Patrick, well, I must say you're on the right path to changing a lot of men, especially a lot of Jamaican men. 
Now, for those who would be moved after hearing all that you've just said, where can any young person, whether male or female, go to sign up to be a part of the Gentleman Association? Right. Um, so we are on all social media platforms except for LinkedIn currently, but we're, we're still trying to work on that part. So you can find us on Instagram and Twitter at um, gents, G-E-N-T-S, underscore off, underscore J-A. So the username again is gents, G-E-N-T-S, underscore off, underscore J-A. And so that is us on Instagram, Twitter. You can also find us on Facebook. If you want to reach out to us via telephone, you can do so via um, WhatsApp. We have a WhatsApp business account that we do um, use to respond to persons. That number is 876-527-3608. So again, that's 876-527-3608. And if you don't want to go any of those traditional methods, or sorry, if you don't want to go any of those modern methods, sorry, we have the traditional email. If you want to send us an email, you know, um, if you want to get okay. involved, men um, want to volunteer, sign up as a mentor, sign up as a sponsor, anything you want to do. So the, the email um, is gentlemansassociation at gmail.com. So again, that's gentlemansassociation at gmail.com. All right. Thank you so much. Oh, Patrick, um, in terms of persons who are looking to help out the initiative who would like to support what are some yeah. things that you believe that you may be in need of maybe you have an upcoming project or something of that sort how can persons um immediately support um well we're always we're always i'm um, taking anything that can be donated to children's homes mm -hmm. um we have five children's homes that, that we do regular visits to so if you have anything for children under the age of 18, male and female, um, you can donate to us. You can just send us a message, let us know that you have something to donate and we will arrange for pickup. Um, if you wish to um, monetarily sponsor, we do accept sponsorships there, uh, but we have to go through some official channels for that one. So we ask that you yeah. send us a message, tell us that you're interested in making a donation and then our director of finance will reach out to you and he will get that process started, right? Um, but if you want to make a monetary contribution in another way or outside of sponsorship, we do have some merchandise selling currently. Um, we have some t-shirts um, that we are selling currently um, or our swag brand. And swag stands for she wants a gentleman. Because right? she really does. She really Ooh. does, right? You got a point right? there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right um so we will have um some some branded material that we are currently selling we have shirts currently but we will be coming up with um some visors as well as some um pop sockets um we're also going to come out with some oh my what's the, what's the thing airpods cases there we go so some wow. airpods cases Right, you know, we're, we're trying to we're trying to give persons some options, you know, so that they yeah. can get more involved. Um, we we also partner with a with a company, um, a male clothing store, an online male clothing store called Outage. Um, yeah. Twenty percent of our sales from that company goes to us to help us with whatever initiatives, whatever projects that we have going and have doing. Um, so they sell. All sorts of male accessories and clothing. Um, mm -hmm. They sell shirts, t-shirts, ties, wallets, socks, tie pins. Um, they should be getting some um, polo shirts and some other mm -hmm. items. They have um, vanity pouches, little, little pouches that you see people carry um, yeah, just the, the, by the itself. And so, yeah. Right, and they have sling bags as well. Very cheap, very affordable. Um, so we partner with them as well. So... Um, as I said, 20% of their proceeds come to helping us. So if you don't want to um, make a direct donation, you can go to that page. Um, they're on Instagram as well. Um, Outage is O-U-T-T-A-G-G-E on, on Instagram. Um, you can send them a message uh, as well. Uh, they will happily respond and um, arrange for any sales and deliveries and anything like that. But that is 
how you can support, how you can join up. We're always accepting donations, as I said, for children's homes. Um, if anybody wants to make a monetary contribution, it will go a long way in, in our mission. I promise you, we will put it to great use. Patrick, you really started a great thing. And I do encourage you to continue, to continue to encourage other young boys out there, young adults, and, and don't stop. Really don't stop. Definitely, definitely. So I want to thank you for sharing with us today. And I want to ask anyone who's watching this video today to please support GAJ and also to join, whether you're a male or a female, both genders are welcome. Um, so thank you so much, Patrick, for sharing today. And I really want to thank everyone who is tuned into this video today. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. But most importantly, please support. Support GAJ and follow them on all their different social media platforms. And don't forget to join. All right. I'll see you in the next episode. You take care. Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye everybody.